Welcome back. It is day 14 of my 50 day challenge doing VCV rack experiments. I'm Hoplard and today I made a patch inspired by the Krell patch I did yesterday. So self generative with some randomness and lots of modulation, albeit subtle maybe and uh, I found this beautiful field recording from some uh, tropical rainforest something like that and I think the patch sounds like the joy of life or something like that anyway let's uh, go and have a look shall we so here we go. We turn on the run. And topograph is our clock and source of triggers. So, topograph is uh, usually used to drive drums. It stores percussive patterns in, an, uh, in a two-dimensional map. But of course, you can use these triggers to trigger other stuff as well. And that's what I'm doing here in this patch. I have three voices. laid out here uh, in vertical layers. So let's look at the first one. Uh, this one triggers the voice down here. See it triggers this clock of the cheering machine. This uh, generates some random control voltage and it goes out into the quantizer. The same trigger here also goes to the gate of VESEC, our oscillator here. And the quantized uh, control voltage goes in here. I have it set to pulse width with some triangle in there and it generates some kind of a um, string machine sounding voice. This is then uh, filtered with tangents uh, with a cutoff slightly modulated and also the drive slightly modulated. Okay, let's solo it. It's this voice and most of the modulation comes from Kaudal. I'm setting it quite slow because I want this piece to be slower. Uh, the envelope for the game comes from this part of Rampage. And why is our... Ah, oh, I see. I had an envelope there in a reaper on the uh, folio. Anyway. So, as you can see, lots of output from Cardal going all over the place. Um, so, that modulates also the filter here. Our second voice is this one, the flute from the Micro Oscillator Braids. Uh, this again triggered here by the second 
voice of uh, Topograph. And uh, this is driven by stored random voltages from our uh, source of uncertainty. And again, quantized to a B Dorian scale. And filtered by tangents, which again is modulated somewhat. And there is an envelope generated by Rampage with the same trigger. And uh, um, And I go through this attenuator um, so that we can temper it a bit. Okay. Then we have this third voice from the wavetable oscillator here, which is um, tides but in sheep mode, so that it functions uh, as a, a wavetable oscillator. And set to uh, something quite organ sounding here. Uh, this is not modulated. I just really like this sound. Um, the melody comes from another Turing machine, as you can see, triggered from here and quantized in the same B Dorian scale. Output goes to this channel here. An envelope comes from this side of Rampage, triggered by the same trigger from Turbograph. I then have a send here to stereo delay and a reverb that goes back in here. <laughs> And I've added some more modulation um, of the map. Uh, so traversing through the map here uh, from tides. Um, and I'm using here some BCAs and stuff to not let it go too fast or uh, to temper it a bit. Um, and a Bernoulli gate here. To trigger tides. I don't want to trigger it too often. I want uh, to go all crazy. But of course, if you like this patch and you want to try it out, try changing that. See what happens. So if we push these up. See then we get somewhat more sudden and faster movement here. You can also uh, go through the map here, explore a different area, add some more chaos, which means uh, more triggers will happen. You could, of course, up the clock as well. There are different uh, possibilities here. Code all go a little faster. Uh, 
there's plenty of ways to uh, play around with this patch, I think, but uh, yeah, I like it. I hope you do as well. So, um, like and subscribe and all that jazz, and check back again tomorrow for another VCB Rack Experiment. Thank you.